In this video, I will show how to convert your website in Android application with AdMob and S plus screen. So guys, in 5 to 10 minutes, you can create a professional Android application for your website using this source code. Just you have to copy and paste this code in Android Studio. So open Android Studio then file new new project and give a name to your application select empty activity next give the application name now here select location where you want to save this project select language as java then click on finish now here visit my this website techproadvice.com i will give link in description so just you have to copy and paste this code so firstly co copy this code from here leave this uh, first link and start to copy from here now open this manifest now remove this code from here and paste that one Now here, copy and paste your Android AdMob ID here. Now you will see this error. So to fix this error, you need one picture and give a name to this picture as logo. So copy. and paste on this RES enjoyable select this first one enjoyable then click on ok again click on ok so this error is now resolved now here copy this second code main activity dot java start to copy from here Now open this main activity dot java remove this code leave as first link as default now paste that code here now here enter your website name Now copy and paste this code. You need to create a splash activity. So firstly create a splash activity dot java. So right click on java new and here click on activity then here click on empty activity give the name s slash activity click on finish now copy this code
and paste here. Now here activity man x7 so copy this code this one activity man xml click on code now copy and paste that code If you see this red line error, so right click on it, right click on it and work cursor to show context action, then click on add dependency. Now wait for a few seconds, this error will be resolved. That's it. Now copy this code activity as flash XML. This one. Click on code. and paste here. Now copy this code built dot gradle so expand gradle scripts Double click on this build dot credit. Double click on this build dot credit project and paste here. Now copy this code. And here you will see build dot gradle module. Copy and paste the code here. Now here you have to change package name in some different places. So copy your package name firstly. So this is your package name. You will see this first line. and open this build.gradle app and here change your package name similarly change package name here now open any web browser type here firebase Open Firebase and create your account with Firebase using your Gmail and password. After that, click on Get Started. Here, click on Add Project. Give your project name. Click on continue, continue, now here select create a new account, give the name, then save it, check this box, then create project,
then click on continue now here select android enter your project name i mean your android application package name so paste your application package name there click on register app now download this file Now copy this file and paste on app. So right click on app. Then click on paste. Click on OK. then click on sync now now guys two places you have to add your adobe id so in manifest Here add your application id, admob application id and mainactivity.java. Here you need to add your interstitial add code. Here you have to add this admob add id. So this is the interstitial add id. And in the second part of this tutorial, I will show you how to add banner ad. Now right click on draw a body. New and here click on image asset. And here select icon for your application. So select from your PC which you have so just select a picture PNG then click on open here you can adjust size then click on then, cl then click on next then click on finish Now once you done this coding, just click here, run app and as I said before, you have to change this URL for your website and manactivity.java, you change the admob add code and in manifest, add your admob application ID. So thanks for watching and as we can see this application is running properly. In next video I will show you some more useful features for this application. So stay tuned and continue and also guys 
support and show your love by subscribing my channel. If you have any errors or comment, I will try to resolve that error.